שהוא שלמה יהושע בן ציפריים. ומדינאי לאינו על אמא זה כנראה לא מוזיקה, ואינו מדינאי לאינו על אמא זה כנראה לא מוזיקה, זה כנראה לא מוזיקה. אה, we have a difficult introduction, difficult no, but it's going to be, I'm going to try to go very short on the introduction because I can, I want to focus on one subject which is going to teach us, especially in these days, a tremendous, tremendous amount of knowledge assurance be in a behavior in any situation a person face especially when you face adversity when you face difficulty how to read it how to behave about it how to remove it and uh, how to return to the light and this is all part of yosef life in this parasha So I would like to, to emphasize it because this is a tremendous, tremendous point. And whenever you see a nace that happened by the Bnei Israel, at any time, you see those same criteria behind the scene. I'm going to ask a question. One of the questions, probably the main question, I will not have time to answer, and I don't want to expand today and give too much knowledge, I mean too much data. I will give a lot, but uh, not, not uh, as much as usual, because I really want to focus on this, and if you can take it and understand it and, and internalize it, I think I have achieved a lot. But keep it for food for thought, okay? And try to answer it, and you're welcome to, to email me Uh, the answer is that you think you know just send me a message um pasuk starts let's go right away into the pasuk because i want to get already to the main part it was after two years of time yamim of days uparo chaylem paro start dreaming You realize that it's missing the Vav here. Vehine Oymed, another time the Vav is gone. Alai Oyer, three times the Vav is gone. This whole Pasuk has no Vav. But I will focus on this only. Vaihi Mikesh and Osayim Yamim. Years. It, it, it's a quantity in time. So why do you say Yamim? Yamim is a different quantity. Yamim is days. Shnosayim is years. So they don't, they don't mix together. Shnosayim. Two years. Shtayim shana. So why do you put me right after that something that's going to contrad contradict it and say days? Yosef HaTzadik has been 10 years in jail. And uh, after those 10 years, he thought, oh, you know what? I had 10 drops falling, I mean, through my, between my fingers. 10 years. I'm going to be punished 10 years. When I arrived those 10 years, all of a sudden, the Sarah Maskim has a dream. And those dream, this dream actually had all the criteria of a message from HaKadosh Bochu, as we're going to see. However, Yosef is getting punished in an additional two years. And that's where we start our parasha. Vayhi miket shenosayim yamim. It was from two years after this discussion he had with the Sarah Mashkim. Okay. The main subject of the Pasha is y Yosef becoming the viceroy, ruling. Paro give him, gives him all the power to rule over all earth. It doesn't say Al Eretz Mitzrayim, it says Al Haaretz. When we talk Haaretz, it's the globe. Mitzrayim was the nation reigning over the globe at that time. 
Paro could have taken him, could have taken him as a viceroy, viceroy, I think it's called, and and keep it that way. No, he gives him all the melucha. Paro says the only thing I'm going to keep above you is my seat, but all the rest you you are the one, you're the king. Interesting. The story behind all this and how Yosef achieved all this. It's not written, which is the main subject of the whole entire parasha we're going to see. And we're going to prove it beyond, beyond any doubt. However, a bridge to that, which is the Chaloim, oh my goodness, If you probably know the color of those cows by now. It's going to be said, repeated. It's going to be, I mean, the languages and the, 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 the Pasuk is not going to stop talking. We are here as Jews. We don't care. You know, when, when Goim have victories or whatever, they're not reported in the Torah unless they have the effect us. What's going on here? that the Torah is going so wild about the dream of Paroi. The dream of Paroi is only a mean in order to provide Yosef the throne. As the Zohar calls him, Mibira le Bira. A bear in, in Aramaic, it's called Bira with the Aleph at the end. Bira with the He at the end, it's called a palace. So the Zohar says, we are Mibira from the boyer all the way to the palace. Yes, that's the nace here. However, that nace is almost not, not discussed. We do not know, we do not understand the greatness of Yosef Atzadik in here and how he has achieved such a thing. And so we could inherit the same Mida. However, the, these seven cows and these seven cows, I'm telling you, you hear about them. People cannot hear anymore about those cows. Why? Why did we have to repeat so much? And especially, why is the Torah avoiding talking about the, 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 the real nace here? I want to jump directly. I told you the introduction, I'm going to go cold here because I want to go to the subject of Yosef Atzadik, his nace, his greatness, and, and, and the pivotal uh, role he's going to take till end of time. Till end of times. Not only in Mitzrayim, not only when he lived, but till end of times, the schus of Yosef is standing before for the Bnei Israel. Let's go back to the Pasuk. Let's jump into it. We have a problem with this. We do not understand what he means at the end of the two years. I, I avoid you the Zayar on this, the Midrash. Just want to go have an understanding. What, what, what happens here? So we're going to take, to take a shortcut, we're going to take the, uh, the gematria. Equal 1,161. Uh, 1, um, and this equals Tif Eres Yesoy. Let me show you so you remember quickly. Tif Eres the middle of Yaakov Avinu, the MS, Shalom, the middle of Yosef. You see, Yesoy, Tif Eres, here it's missing the Das because it's behind, and the Keser right on top, the central line. Now, there is no possibility for any of these Midas to pour something in the Malchus unless they pour it in the Yesoid. The Yesoid is a very, very critical because 
for the Bnei Israel to receive the Shefa under here, it has to go first through the Yesoid, the Yesoid to the Malchus, and the Malchus to the Bnei Israel. So now we are seeing a connection. Something happened behind the scene that tells us that Yosef was able to raise his level and connect to the Midah of Yaakov Avinu. Reminding us what it says in Pashas Vayeshev, Eile toldos Yaakov, the toldos, the, 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 the descendant of Yaakov, is Yosef. We ask the question, where are the other children? Yosef has a special role to play with the Bnei Yisrael, exactly as Yaakov had a special role to play for all the Bnei Yisrael. If we take, we say this word is extra, which is true, shouldn't be here, it has no place, cannot even be translated. Yamim equals 100, equals the sum. Sum equals 100. The sar of Esau, the satan. Aha. So we haven't even started the parsha. The Nachash is already here. Yosef Atzadik finally absolved. I mean, he he, he corrected his chatayim. He made a tikkun on whatever he did, and we're gonna see what he did and the reason of everything that happened to him, and we'll understand it. But here we come to the sum of all the punishments. They're over. Akadosh Baruch Hu said it's over. He's back into the hands of his father, Yaakov. The Soydan of Eris now connected. It works. And we see the Nachash is right there. Right next to our Paro here. What is he coming to do here? We, 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 we're not trying. It's, it, it's over. Yosef Atzadik passed all the tests. What kind of of plan does he have this Satan in order to make Yosef trip? You know, what is he trying to do? Now, if I brought this parcel, no, I didn't bring the parcel. Oh, yeah. It says in Eoib, Ulchol Tachlis Huchoiker. Akadosh Bochu. In every aspect, he will look into the details of everything. Even Oifel Vetzal Moves, a dark storm and, and death, this is one of the names of the Satan. To say that when a person, when a Kodesh is Choyker, is investigating, and he sees the person doesn't deserve, lets him be in the hands of the Satan. But he doesn't see, deserve being that possible here, an explanation. The, but he doesn't seem to be the case because Yosef finished the 12 years. He paid his dues. But why did I bring this? Because of Moshe's, uh, of Moshe's Akut, who was from the Rav of Montiga in Italy, the Talmud of Binyamin Halevi, and uh, who was a Talmud of the Talmud of Chaim Vital. So, and he he is the one who organized all the, the writings of Chaim Vital. So all the Shara Kavana is all the, what we call the Shmoina She'arim, the eight gates that the Ari HaKadosh of Chaim Vital wrote, what we have today is, our, is, is what the Ramaz, we call him the Ramaz. And the Ramaz wrote a lot of Sfarim and the whole Pirush on the Zoyar. And and because it's so important and so of actuality, I said I'm going to mention it. He's basically making a parallel. You have Yosef on one side, Poetifar on the other hand. The same way you have a celestial body with ten spheres 
on the Gdusha, you have 10 on the Tuma. And you know, he goes into this. Yosef went to Petifar the first time, not by chance, because he is his opposite. Petifar was a sorry sparrow. Was sorry sparrow was castrated. Why? Because of the Avedah Zara required that. For them, he brought a level of, a greater level of Tumor. So Yosef was the Yesoid in the Gdusha. Petifar was the Yesoid in the Tumor. Fine. We have, as Jews, our work is we have this. Yudke, Vavke, we cannot make the first two letters cannot be dissociated. They're above what we can do. Only a few things, that, you know, Aveda, Zara, whatever, can touch them. But on the Vav K, this is where the danger is. And this is called the Yesoid and the Malchus. We cannot dissociate these two. These are the names in both. They equal 91. It's equal Sukkah. We've been seeing this in Sukkah. It equals Malach. You know, but it equals Amen. Every time we say Amen, we're connecting the Vav He, which is Mitzvah, Vav He at the end. So, so we're connecting these two names, and this is our purpose. This is our avoida, and chas v'shalom. If if we're gonna fail, the yesoid and the malchus. Now this this guy, the neighbor across the street, has also aleph tzaddik. Ninety one. He has also has a ninety one, and when a person speaks during kaddish. It's called Mevaze Amen. Or, you know, he speaks, he doesn't pay attention to the brachas that the, the Shriach Tzibur is saying and he's not concentrating and he's not saying Amen properly. You know, there's seven, the same way there's seven cows that he saw, big cows, uh, healthy and everything. The Zaya said, Akadosh Baruch Hu showed him the seven heicholos, the seven chambers of the Gdusha, and the seven bad cows are the seven chambers of the Tuma. The Gehinom. And at the bottom one, it's double, like me Arasa it's a cave over a cave. The final, the bottom, has a double uh, level. Someone who's Mevaze, the Amen, when he falls, he falls to the seven Maduro or Chalvesharam of the Gehina. You don't want to know, someone wants to learn Maseches Gehina that Rashi wrote. You see the first, the second, you'll stop after the second. You're not going to go further. When you see the, 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 and I think since it's mentioned here, look, if you take Yesoid Malchus, that you're not allowed to dissociate, equals, uh, 576 equals Malchus. Remember what there he said on Malchus? 576 is all the dinim on earth. There's no more. And a person who does this gets all the dinim. So it's very kedai, just uh, since we see that in the parasha of Yosef Atzadik to reinforce ourselves and, 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 and think, what do we gain? In, we are in the seven of Gdusha. So someone who says Amen, you know, if someone who doesn't say Amen falls at the bottom of the pit, someone who says Amen with his dust, how high he's going. That was a parenthesis I wanted to open because I think everyone has to be misoyer. So much we can gain through 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 the Amen. People don't understand. Uh, a lot of the time we, we complain about Tsaris, but these Tsaris mainly are coming because of the Amen. So now let's go back to, to understanding Yosef Atzadik and before he's getting to Vahi Mikesh no Saim Yami. Sarah Mashkim at the end of Las Pasha has a dream. He sees three three branches from um, um, a Geffen. 
Gemara in Chulin says, Gefen nimshela le Yisrael. So he says, oh, oh, I'm having a good sign here. Three branches. The Gemara says, Avram Yitzchak Yaakov. Oh, finally, I was able to redeem myself. Now I belong to my, to my father and forefathers. In that case, this guy has to be the shliach. Midrash says, a very enigmatic Midrash. Midrash Rabbah here, very enigmatic. The Loshen is, is hiding a lot, but I'm only going to be able to tell you two Pratim because I don't want to go. That's not the path of the Shir. He told him these words. Two words. Zechartani Vehiskartani. So Yosef is saying two words to the uh, And I thought it's the same word. Copy. Control V. But, uh, okay. Zechatani Behis Kartani. These are the two words. Yosef said to the Sarah Mashkim, and for each one, HaKadosh Bochu feels it's a, it's a lack of emuna, lack of bitachen, and therefore he's going to take one year for each one. Do you think, Yosef, it says in the Pasuk, Asher HaGeve Asher Sam Asher Miftachoi, praise the person that has Hashem as, as his support, it means he feels everything is Hashem, Hashem. He says, Ze Yosef. it's Yosef. He didn't go to, you know, the Babas or the, 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 the tricks, you know, the, the magicians or anything, anything. He relies on Hashem. It's Yosef. So why is he getting punished? I don't know if Jeff is on the share. He he wanted to say that because it says Vehoitse is sunny, and it's a good shot. Because he told him after that, what reveals the intention in these two words is the third word. You you go to Paro and tell him I was stolen and remind me to him. It means you're the Shliach. I say yes, but. If you take Zechartani, six hundred and eighty-seven. Do you remember this? Atilus Beria Yetzira Asiya. Yud Kevavke written with Yudin. Rib Kevavke here has an Aleph. Yud Kevavke of Alfin with Aleph. Yud Kevavke with that. It's a Yud Kevavke and a Yud Kevavke inside. This equals 232. Where is the other one? And this is the other one. Keye. Kasa. This. The three type of, of Keye we have are one of the written in full with the Yud, one with the Aleph, and one with the Hayes. It's called Keye the Yudin, Keye the Alfin, Keye the Hehin. This is Venake. This is the, the name that comes on Yom Kippur and is Mechaper. That's, that's the name we make during the first two broches of the Shemun Esra of Yom Kippur. That's Kamag. That's for the third bracha on, on, on Shemun Esri of Yom Kippur. 
and the fourth is mikveh. We're getting purified. Mikveh Hashem Yisrael with the name Kehye of Hehin, Kanaf 151 equals Mikveh. 161 equals Venake, the last, the 13th Midah. So if you take this, it's called 455. Plus 232 equals 687. Yosef is testing the Saramashkin. Who are you? And he tells him that he's Kartani. So we have again here 687 plus the Vavhe that we just mentioned here. I'm not trusting you. I want to assure that you are it. And despite that, Yosef Atzadi was punished. The reason explained the Shemi Shmuel, and I like a lot this. I built a lot of stuff on, based on his work. You have two types of people. You have a person that lives in this world like Shabbos. It's Shabbos. I don't do nothing. I'm not going to do any Hishtadras. I rely completely on Hashem. These are the Tzaddikim. They're on that level. And you have those like us that still need to make Hishtadras because really we always rationalize that if HaKadosh Bochu puts us in a situation it's for us. To, 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 to go through the finish line. Let me give you an example. We have Yosef, when he talks to the Sarah Mashkin, he basically stresses him to try to free him, to talk to Paro. When Yosef at Sadiq has the opportunity to be before Paro, he doesn't ask anything for himself. That's not normal. If you wanted to be before Paroi, and if you wanted to be freed and returned to Eretz Yisrael, and that's what you ask the Saramashkin, now that you have an opportunity to, to be before Paroi, and you're doing him a big favor, and the derech of the melucha of kingdoms are to always return a favor for a favor so people make more favor to the king, and warn him in case of a danger and so forth, in that case, how is it possible that Yosef Atzadik doesn't even utter a word? Yosef Atzadik learned his lesson. Despite the good kavana he had, despite that he was testing, if you want to be connected to the Tiferes, to Yaakov Avinu, keep quiet. Don't ask anyone for anything. We, we're going to see it, and I'm going to prove it, and I'm going to remind you that point. I just want to finish this introduction very quickly. Long introduction, sorry. Uh, I just want to prove you that point here. Um, we see, Ashra Gever, praise the person, Asher Sam, Asher Miftachri. This equals to 932. And Yosef made a mistake. He passed because he spoke. So he's considered now, yes, you say on the Shem Hashem. So you didn't want to use the powers of the other side. You still use the power of the Gdusha, but you still open your mouth. Interestingly, he calls exactly twice this. The mid and the power of not talking. Uh, the power of not talking and and uh, and relying upon Hakadosh Baruch Hu is twice the effect. Therefore, Yosef, when he was before Paroi, he didn't ask for anything. He realized only Hakadosh Baruch Hu. The Zer Hakadosh says, if Hakadosh Baruch Hu decided to put someone in jail, in a massar, who can free him? No one. If Hakadosh Baruch Hu decided that someone should be under the light and successful and everything flourishing, who can prevent that? No one. A person, Bidvar Hashem Shomayim Nasu, even Shomayim Va'aretz were created with the words of HaKadosh Bochu, the intention. 
So call Shekin what happened in this world. Here we see Yosef Asadik understood that everything is running by Kodesh Bochu's will. So what do we have to do really here? What does Yosef Atzadik tell us to do? Let me tell you, back off a little bit, and I'm going to tell you a little story behind the story. Again, you know, I love the Sefer HaYoshar. And uh, always bring us a lot of insight from many Midrashim, but it was prior to all these Midrashim was the Sefer HaYoshar. The... When Yosef came before Paro, he bowed down and he went up three, you know, there were 70 steps before reaching the throne of Paro because each step corresponding to one language. They had in the constitution that only a person that knows the 70 languages could become a ruler in Mitzrayim. So Yosef Atzadik, I don't know what he knew, Hebrew, or maybe he knew by now, he knew how to speak Egyptian or and, and whatever the dialect. He went up to the third, to the third step and sat down. Paro came down, sat down on the fourth. That was the habit. And they decided. Paro tells him his dream. I'm not going to bash you with it anymore. Nobody can see those cows. So, so. At that moment, says the Sefer Yashar, Ruach HaKodesh came upon Yosef, and when he was looking at Paro, he saw everything from the beginning of his life to the end of his life, what happened to him and what will happen to him all the way to the end. And Yosef Atzadik says right away, so Paro has an introduction, try to trick him, and, and Yosef find the trick. I save you a lot of details here. Let, let's go into our story. So, because I want to go a certain path. It says you only have one dream. And the, and why do you have one? Uh, you have only one dream? Why do you, you have two dreams? They came, they repeated itself. It's because HaKadosh Baruch Hu is going to do it, as it says in the Pasuk, very quickly. Uh, a, a big abundance will come to Mitzrayim, but the, the famine afterward will make you forget that he even existed, the, the abundance. And then Yosef goes from his own chef and gives an idea, gives an Eitzah to Paro. Find someone that knows how to rule, that's intelligent, that's capable of saving Mitzrayim. By doing what? By saving the food during the, the, the seven first years, put them away and uh, and like this, when will come the time of the famine, you will have food and, and Paro was very scared for himself. So I said, oh my God, I got I to gotta do that. I got to do that. And he says, so, and Yosef told him, you will be saved and you'll save also the people of your country. What is Paro doing? Paro is saying, the Khartoumim, my magician, none of them this time, and he was the head of the magicians, knew how to explain that dream. How do I know your explanation is true? Yosef says, you know what? I'm going to give you a semen. Your wife is in the middle of giving birth right now. She will give birth to a boy. When, when you're going to hear the news that you had a boy, the boy that you had two days ago will die. And this will happen today. Yosef is taken at that point, Yosef is taken back to the pit. What an sign. You came, did a tremendous favor to this to this king, and you thought that was the end of the pit. I'm not gonna see it again. Uh-uh. You're brought back to the pit. 
okay? Yosef HaTzadik learned better than that. The Nisayan, you know, is extremely hard on him, but um, Yosef leaves. A few moments later, a messenger comes and announced to Paro, your wife had a boy, and indeed was very happy. Then he heard um, tremendous noise in, in the palace. He says, what's going on? What's going on? The baby fell from his crate, the other one, and it was dead. Exactly like Paro, uh, like Yosef said. At that moment, Paro knew for sure that Yosef told him the truth. Not only he told him the truth, but he had a special, something special about him. And you have to watch that individual. He's not a regular individual. So Paro called for a meeting the next day with all his ministers and everything. And he told them, what are we doing? You see that that man, because the Sarah Mashkim called him Nar, Ivri, Eved. Hey, the Nevo is given to Shoitim. He's a Shoite. That's how he knows how to, 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 to decipher a dream. Paro calls him Ish. You see, he's a man. I mean, a man of stature. You saw him. Paro fell in love with Yosef. He saw that he had the look and the blood of aristocracy. He was not an Abed. Paro, he had a keen eye. He knew right away what happened. So he says, what are we going to do? So they told him, look, it's your land. You do what you want. Paro said, if it was up to me, I will put him in charge. But they say, we have a problem. We have in our constitution, the law that we cannot put someone in charge of the nation, ruling over the nation, unless he knows the 70 languages. So they say, let's call Yosef. Let's test him first before we make a decision. That night in prison, Gabriel the Malach, who was since he left, he left his father. Gabriel was with him at all times. So Malach Gabriel, who knows 70, the Zerah says he knows 70 languages, taught Yosef. There's a whole story also how on the te teaching why he had to add him a letter in the name and so forth. How does he affect the, the knowledge of the languages? But anyway, he taught him 70 languages. In the morning, they bring Yosef, say, Sparrow calls you. Fine. And he started walking, speaking a language and walking and walking. And as he's walking up, the joy of Paro and his minister is growing. Whoa, he's really somebody. Finally, maybe we have something here. He goes up all the way to the, the 70th uh, step and bows down before Paro. Paro has a tremendous simcha to see that his favorite, is capable of ruling Mitzrayim, right away he gives him, right away he gives him the keys, everything of Mitzrayim, and he says, you become the ruler, you become everything, I'm only keeping the seat above you. Once we see this, this reinforces our first question. The main subject of the Parsha is what David HaMelech we say in Halal, Me'ashpois Yarim Evyoin. From the garbages, HaKadosh Baruch Hu will raise a pauper to be a king. The Zoya explains the similarity between Yosef and, and David HaMelech. David Amalek was hated by his brothers, 
and was prevented to come home. He had to stay with the flock because they he had the name that 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 he was a mamzer, Chaz Bishon. So they didn't want uh, the big tzaddikim, the brothers, they didn't want any cross blood here, whatever. Get out of here. Slip in the field. And from there, HaKadosh Baruch Hu takes him and make him, makes him king of Israel. The kings of the kings of Israel. He had his, his father-in-law pursuing him, people trying to kill him. It doesn't matter. When HaKadosh Baruch Hu decides, when you feel antagonism and everything, don't worry. HaKadosh Baruch Hu make you more worthy because he wants you closer to him. And for that, he has to clean you. How? Sometimes you have to take a road and hit the rug in order to take off all the, the dust. But you don't mean to hurt the rug. You mean to remove the dust. And this was, Yosef at Sadiq was hated by his brothers. He was sold. He went to Mitzrayim. He had a nightmare of the first year with the Asher Spetifar. A nightmare. She followed him in jail and come tempting him every day. Offered him money. Offered him everything. Nothing. Nothing. What happens? Yosef Atzadik becomes a king. From where? From the pit to the palace. The truth, the truth is they don't resemble each other. But I don't want to dig into the Zoya, but there's a, a lot of to learn here from, from uh, this Zoya. Let's go see the Pasuk because we're going to have all our answers from one Pasuk. Vayishlach Paroi. When, when Paro heard from the Sarah Mashkim that, that um, Yosef is capable of of giving, of explaining a dream, of deciphering a dream, he went, Paro sent for Yosef. Vayikrois Yosef. And he called Yosef. Uh, uh, uh. No, 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 no. The language here is not correct. He should have said here, Vayishlach Paro, likroi le Yosef, to call Yosef. He didn't call Yosef. He is in the pit. And 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 uh, the power is in the palace. How did he call him? So so um uh, he should have said Likro. So what he means by Yikro is Yosef? Here it's missing a vav. Almost to say, not to say in plural, to say in singular. They raised him from the pit. The Zerah is going to give three pshatim here why it's missing, it's missing a vav here. And I'm going to go to it right away, but I just want to finish the puzzle. Then Yosef is going to do three things. Vaigalach is going to shave. Vaichalef sim loisav. He would change his skirts. Yosef is wearing skirts. A man is allowed to wear women's clothing. She has a big of his clothes. What he means? What he means here? By Chalef Sim he changed his skirts. Then by Yavo Yal Paro, he came to Paro. No, 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 no. They brought him to Paro. The, the messengers of Paro they brought him. To 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 uh, to Paro. Excuse me a second. So we see in that pasuk that that it wants to give us a message. The the Zayar Kadosh explain. Vairitsuhu in three forms. It could be Vairitsehu, okay, without a voice, Vairitsehu from the Lashan Rotsoin. It could be also Vayartsehu. It means 
He gave him chen to be accepted. And the Zoya says, the fact, the fact, so uh, let me write it down for you. So, Vairatsehu, no, this one is the third one, sorry. So, I'm going to take this one, put him here, and here it's uh, Vairatsehu. And basically, they raised him, but they raised him, but Paroi, exactly like the Sefer Hayasha said, Paroi right away felt he has an aristocrat, somebody of, of big bloodline. He liked him. By Ratzin. But Yosef here says the Zoya, when Chaz Shalom tragedies, or you feel you're not in the spot you should be. And the darkness is surrounding you, like Yosef in the boyer. Don't give up. Don't give up. Because no one does this. This cannot happen. And it's not of a human made. Oh, yeah, it's that guy who, who, who did that to me. No, it's Hashem who sent that guy. Don't waste your time and energy fighting the messenger. Go right away into tefillah. Rot saying. The same word we mentioned in Hanukkah. The always the light comes down and it's red say from the one Rot who wants to bless us. But we somehow we have done something and they turn the letters into Tsara. And without filler, we davening to Akadosh Bochu to return the letters in the right order. And this works. So when a person, when someone is falling in quick sense, what do we tell him to do? Stop shaking, stop moving. Because the only thing you're trying, you want to save yourself. But you're not saving yourself. You're only going deeper. Akadosh Bochu put me in that situation. Yaakov, Yosef Atzadi could have said, he put me before Paroi. I'm a great talker. I'm a big chacham. I know not 70 languages. Let me ask him about me. Because that's probably the will of Hashem. That's why Yosef didn't do that. Says no. Hashem closed the gate of the bore on me. He has to open them. Says the Zayar Kodesh. Vayishlach Paroi. Vayikrois Yosef. Yes. He went, he sent to fetch Yosef uh, Paroi. But Vayikrois Yosef, it's not Paro. It's Akadosh Bochu. When the word of Akadosh Bochu comes, even if they want to close the gates of the prison, they cannot. Vayikras Yosef, finally, he understood from the Saramashkim. At the beginning, Yosef went forward toward the Saramashkim. Here, he heard the call from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Vayritsuhu minaboyer. At that point, when he heard the call, this is when they raised him. Ah, he went back to the pit. Let's wait one second on this. I'm going to explain exactly what goes on in behind the, the scene here. Says the Ramaz again. 
Moshe Zakuta on, 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 the, on the Zoyer, on explanation on the Zoyer here, there's a whole mission behind that Yosef had to undertake behind this story. Yosef at Sadiq, beginning of Pasha's Vayeshev, it says, Vayavez di basam ra el avihem. In short, he said Lashon Hara on his brothers. He used his mouth. The mouth and the Brismila on the same line with the Das with, and the Keser on top. So he basically created a Pagam in the Das. He had, he had to correct that. Moshe Rabbeinu is the front of the head. We always call Moshe Rabbeinu the Nitzah that every Jew has where the Neshama is, is right here. You know, it goes down, but it's it's right here. That's that's where he launched. He goes through the nose in the in the Yoitzer and he goes right up like this. So it's right here. In the back of the head is Paroi. Oiref. The back of the head where we put the Dalit. Of the tefillin, we put the the keser of the tefillin, the the tefillin shel roish here because this is where the neshama is. In the back is paroi, oiref, same letters as paroi in a different thing. Yosef at Sadik, when he spoke lashon hara about his brothers, he went to the chelik of paroi. Now automatic. We said, remember by, uh, by the Mitzvah, when a person talks to Ashanara, he becomes a complete creature from the other side. Everything changes. Why? Because he goes from the front to the back. Yosef at at that point, belonged to the Klippa of Mitzrayim. To Paroi. Therefore, the Din was that his brother selling to Mitzrayim. But in order for Yosef to have a chance to be redeemed, it had to come the self from the Gdusha. Because when the brothers, we are, which are Kedushim, they sold him, it's never at the end of the day, you know, an eternal hatred. We don't have hatred. A Yid cannot have hatred. The Baishanim, um, Rachmanim goim lechasadim. That's the midah of a Jew. So, the fact that he was sold by the brothers enabled him to be redeemed. Yosef had to go. So now that the mouth, the tongue, is the yesoid of the mouth, of the face. The yesoid. The same as the bris mila is the yesoid of the body, the tongue. So now it has to go be tested because someone, there's a cloud, someone who has a foul mouth, you know what he does. The rest, dot, 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 but not three. I put you five. You know more than uh, you should know now. You guarantee that someone who has a foul mouth, someone who's moiti shemra, someone who curses, Someone who speaks during the evening, middle, blah, 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 you know exactly what happens. If he can keep his mouth, he can keep something else. He's a choyte. And therefore, the more a person is choyte, the less he can keep his mouth. It's galgal, like yavan. Galgal 66, yavan 66. That's the way it goes. And they understood that, the yavanim. So Yosef Atzadik now is tested on the yesod and he passed the test. He passed the test because of his eyes and because of his mouth. He kept quiet. The only time he fell back on the chet is when he's going to talk to the Saramashkin. But now, okay, we see the front of the story. What's behind it? Behind it is Mitzrayim is called Ervas Haaretz. Meaning that 
the Gemara says that Eved was never, he, 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 uh, not the Gemara, it's in the Mechilta Rav Shunba Yoichai, in Shmois, he says that, that never Eved was able to run away from Mitzrayim. Besides who? Hagar. Depending if Winan Hagar was the daughter of Paro or a maid of Paro, why? He says because uh, Paro spoke to the people to let to let Avram and Sarah with Hagar go back out. Otherwise, the Mechilta said it would have never happened. Why is that? Because the 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 the, the behavior was so animalistic that someone who was falling in this deprivation could never come out. You didn't even have to put walls. You didn't even have to put guards. They were from their own chef, they didn't want to leave. Ah, you're an Evid. I'd rather be an Evid and not have that fun rather than than than, than being into, into Eretz Kenan. They didn't want to go back. That's how bad it was. If you take... Um, If we take this word, why is it not moving? Ervas Haaretz. Equals 972 equals two times what it says by the Dora Mabul Kimala Haaretz Hamas. Just to see the level of the privation that was in Mitzrayim. And Yosef will remain a tzaddik. However, Hashem saw that the koyach of the Tuma here was so strong that the Bnei Israel, when they're going to go there, they're not going to be able to come out. This is going to be, this is going to swirl them in. It's a tsunami. It's not going to be possible. Why it's not possible? Always Haaretz, when it's written without it, it doesn't say Eretz Mitzrayim. Aretz is the Shechina. If you take this word, Ervas, look at the power of Ervas he has. Equals 676. Equals Yudke Vavke times Yudke Vavke. This is how deprivation, no matter the level of a Gdusha of a person, it will take you down. So Yosef HaTzadik, HaKadosh Baruch Hu created a situation that he had to be sent there and in order to overcome and overpower these. So what did HaKadosh Baruch Hu do? He forced Yosef to attach himself exactly like in Hanukkah, the Nachal that we spoke two nights ago, to the, do I still have it here? Yeah, I have it here. Remember Le Hadik Ner Chanukah, the Nachal? Nachal is always a Yesoid, is long and provide. Neutzer Chesed Lalaf. Now, Kodesh Bochu wanted him to connect himself to this, to the Das. When he corrected his, his sin, automatically you see his mission coming out. B'nai Israel. Now he's going to work and take them. Overpower the Erva Saaretz, all this Tuma, in order to enable the Bnei Israel to, to, to be saved from this. Says the Tiferet Shloima, one big cloud. When a person, what a person eats is what he is. So if you take, that's why Chazal we makpid that Lechem Akum, bread from, from Goim, we don't eat. When possible, you can have a, 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 a Pas Yehudi, Pas Yisrael, you should have Pas Yisrael. Why? Because the Shefa of the Sitra Achara has an effect on the, uh, on the person itself. It leads him to follow that same path. However, 
if you eat from the Shefa of Gdusha, you incline to go after Gdusha. And therefore, we have to stay away as much as possible from the food of the Goy. Now, we have the key to all the enigmas we asked. HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave a dream to Paroi, and Paro realized he makes no sense. None of the magicians know the answer. He says, God is involved. It's not possible. How is he involved? Something will show. So when Yosef came, he understood Yosef is from the side of the Gdusha. He said, only someone from the other side can come and give me and give me the answer. So you, Paro was getting ready to have a war here. Uh oh, I don't like the Gdusha. I don't like anything. He says, I need to fight this. Vayishlach Paroi? Paro said, What do we care? Vayishlach Paro. Vayishlach Paro. They took him. Uh, do we need to know that Vayishlach Paro? Because if he didn't say that he sent, they would have not taken him out. So Vayishlach Paroi. He calls 709 exactly like Adam, Isha, Nachash. Had the trio back. Paro said, you know what? I'm going to bring prepare my Kishofim. When he's going to come, I'm going to get him so badly and he's going to fall. Because obviously he, Hashem sends him here to fight. To fight the tumor of Mitzrayim. But we don't want this. We want to keep it. What is Paro? So Yosef comes and he does three things. Vaigalach. Vaigalach equals 57. Kel Hashem. Well, I'll show you. Got to save time, but uh, if you don't understand, I haven't achieved anything. Vaigalach. Equals 57. Kel. Here, just by seeing this, I know that Yak, he wanted to raise himself. Remember here, where is that name coming from? Kel Hashem in Yetzira. When you want to go up, these are all the Yehudim enabling to go to the next world, enabled to go to the next world, enabled to go to the next world. So he, Paro is from here. Paro was very high to the Das against Moshe Rabbeinu. So he was in the Olam Haberia. Right away, Yosef knew he was going into a, a, a surprise, obviously, from Paro. So he says, I'm going to raise myself. Vayechalef Sim Loisov, we said he couldn't wear um, skirts. It's not possible. This equals to seven. 86 equals to Keser Elyon. Not only he raised himself, but he attached himself to the Keser Elyon from the fear of Paro knowing that he's a, he's a magician and, and what he's going to do. And then, yes, he came to Paro. You're right. We were right that they took him to Paro, but he comes to say this. Vayabuel Paroi, are you ready? He surrounded himself with the light of the Nechanukah and the Mezuzah. These are the three things that he went prepared himself. So how come? Since Paro prepared a trap, how, how is it possible that Yosef Atzadi got out of the trap? 
since he had Ruach HaKodesh, he was attached to the Keser Elyon. He had the Oyer Aganus from the, the Nechanukah and the Mezuzah shining around him. He told Paro like this. We asked, who told Yosef to give uh, advices to Paro? Nobody asked him anything. That was part of the dream. He says, by the way, what God prepares, if one of the Mitzrim, you put him in charge of, 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 of uh, upkeeping the food, he will rot. As the Midrash said, all the food the farmers kept, rot. Only the food that Yosef kept, you know, uh, remain fresh. Why? Because this is a Xera, even on the Sarim, the ministers, the angels of Mitzrayim and all the angels of Tuma. Therefore, the Khatumim, therefore, the mag your magicians could not decipher you that. They were blinded by HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Only someone that comes from the Gdusha can do that. Therefore, Paro, out of fear, gave Tabatoi even his ring, so the Melucha, and even his ring to, to um, what's, it, what's in the ring? The ring equals the Lili plus the seven Madurois, the seven chambers of the Gehinam, where all the bad clippers are there. He gave them all under the shoe of Yosef. He knew that if he would not do that, that was the end of Mitzrayim. He had no choice. Now, he could not only not fight Yosef, he could not even refuse to give him the Melucha, otherwise he would have been the end of Mitzrayim. And why did Yosef do that? So he would now control, so he gathered all the money, all the money came to the Gdusha, and it was only, it says, it remained only the bodies and the land. So now all the food of Mitzrayim became food from Gdusha. So when Bnei Israel will come there, they will not be enticed by the Tuma to follow the Ervas Haaretz, this powerful Tuma. They will be able to sustain the Judaism and, 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 and live like Jews despite the hardship of the, of the Shibud. All this because of Yosef Atzadik. And that's the reason HaKadosh Baruch Hu took these sinuous ways in order to bring Yosef to prepare a home for the Bnei Yisrael under the Gedusha, despite the fact that he was in Mitzrayim. Baruch Adonai Le'olam Amen Ve'Amen.